What's good YouTube and welcome to the house not a ban list review channel I haven't seen anything from this ban list so it's gonna be fun to live react to this and I also have TCG player pulled up for after because a lot of people tried to extrapolate some value from the OCG ban list to the TCG and I think there are some long-term things that do happen such as should doles and neck raws eventually catching up to where the OCG are at with them or solemn judgments eventually peeling off for us so I do think there's a moment in time where we can see the mad rush or climb for things and I want to capture before that happens and we'll see where the TCG applies to the OCG ban list later on but we don't always get everything that they get and so I have the TCG ban list layout here sorry if anything's cut off and new ban cards they have Agrapane banned they also catch up to us on Eclipse Weaver and I suppose that is a problem over there although they've had uh what is it, the Ganthor X FDK taken care of for a while, but such a great utility tool for Eclipse Weaver, and so a little bit of catch up there, <laughs> and long term catch up with Soul Charge. I think there was a rumored ban list going around, uh, around with uh, Soul Charge and Agrapane on it, so this is actually pretty interesting to see that that catches up to the rumors. Agrapane, I personally stated, is kind of the problem with the Gar Dragon engine because it's what really breaks everything and gives you an end game. With LP, you just get resources from deck. Maybe you take another card from hand with Levianir or Darkest Diablosis or something like that. And cool, your link summoning backup, all you really end on is a link four, which isn't that broken in Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe you get Apollosa for some negates or something, but you have to go into dragons, so it really limits where you're going towards the Saryuja or something. Agrapig just blurts something out from the extra deck for relatively free, and I think that's the insane part. It gives you the end game along with the Erratic Seal, so it gives you kind of two interruptions uh, when you end from those, but without Agrapane, I'd like to see the end game of the Guard Dragons. Saryuja to one. I've been calling this for the TCG. So, Dual Devastator is coming out before or no sooner than. And I think we're going to get Saryuja to one in the TCG too, right when it gets into everybody's hands. It make, makes a lot of sense with US Konami. And Wyver Burster to one for them as well. Ah, what a good move. Mystic Mind to one. I really want to see this for the TCG. I am so. Tired of still facing Mystic Mind Burn on Dueling Book Rated and it, you know, coming out and just being so good. Somebody actually, like, summoned the DD card that, like, when Normal Summon swaps to the opponent against me with mine, so I had to play in the mine. It's crazy. Draco Net to one. So, combo decks, the Ib, uh, the World Chalice Just a Card decks. That's such an interesting combo starter hit that this ends up on their list. It's not that big of a problem for us yet. I want, let me know in the comment section down below what OCG decks were really abusing this and if it was that big of a problem. Okay, okay. Diagram. Diagram. Diagram to one. Zodiac Barrage to one. Well, I, I assume that's a peel off for them, perhaps, for Barrage and not a peel on. Maybe uh, Zoo was hit a little bit harder in the OCG, but wow, Diagram. Uh, that's pretty intense. I don't know if that's a restriction or if that's actually peeling off for them. Let me know in the comment section below. I think if we look to the TCG and if we choke out True Draco more, that could be a real possibility from the representation amount, not in Top Cup, but in the total field, because we see a lot of players playing this because it's budget and it's been around for so long but let me know if that's a peel off or on uh next up shadow mist to two ortho scorpio to two i would like to see a stronger prey to plant engine uh we also see huh well by that i mean for us you know, we, we could use Brilliant Fusion Smile. Lady Debug to two. Okay, I feel like this was an incidental hit for Solid Boys. They get a uh, Kaiju Slumber to two. I think that's a peel off for them. Spiral Resort to two. Spiral's getting stronger is an aspect I actually kind of enjoy. The deck is almost there with Firewall Band. I do think that Spirals are just a tiny 
tiny bit, uh, you know, left out in the dark for their loops. They still have amazing plays to end on, and this would be pretty cool. Reasoning to do, that's my card. That's, I love that card. Uh, but it is problematic for the game in general. And then we, ooh, ooh. One for one something that can transfer to the TCG. One for one is something that's really, really cool generically. Has such a high cost for facing down an Ash Blossom or an impermanent setting, whatever is coming out. For Link Summoning, you have Glow Up Bulb. What an interesting card to peel off. And then... <laughs> We're entering Pepe again. The Draco Boys. I think this is such an interesting card because you have to run worse cards for it. But, wow, peeling off to two. I'd like to see that in the TCG. And now, to the unrestricted cards. A card that can be... Insert in the restriction released deck. I, I believe these are to three, right? Those were all to two. They get Buster to three, so I guess it was hit harder over there for a while. I, I remember them getting hits where we didn't with ABC and us kind of naturally phasing it out. And Dark Arm to three. You can have three dads in the OCG. It's perfectly fine. Those Monarch stats don't bother them for searchability. That's something I would like to see for the TCG. Something we've been asking for for a long time. Why is two dads okay over there, not three for us? And before demonetized, by the way. Not, not you know, hoping for any ad revenue off of this ban list. Cyberstein to three and TG Hyper Librarian to three. I think Hyper Librarian to three is pretty interesting being able to uh, maybe make one later in your synchro decks they have needle fibers, or, do, yeah, so this is pretty interesting for them. Trishula, 2-3, and Necroz Cycle, 2-3. I guess Necroz was hurt a little more over there, and they match us on Trishula's. I still think this card should be at 1. Anything that can loop hands, anything that can be loops my brother out uh, to really hurt and stop the opponent from playing at all, I dislike seeing it multiples, but so far nothing bad has come of it, so... You know, Kamina Cat's card stays there. Limit removal to three, and I guess they had Solemn Strike hit over there. So let's let's kind of review. Ugh, there's no limits on limit removal. Let's see what really could be implied because a lot of this is uh, some of it's actually playing catch up for us. Uh, one for one is something that I would like to see for us. Spiral Stronger is something I would like to see for us. Debug would be nice as well. Uh, I think Salad Boys are kind of the worst of the best decks in terms of consistency. So giving them another piece after Gazelle the one. And also giving future potential to Adagnister and Marincess. Uh, in a powerhouse like this is pretty good. Uh, Reasoning. Wow. Uh, that that's, uh, that's a card. That's a, that's a really good card. And... Man, Saryuja to 1 is something I think we could see. Mind 1, I hope we see. Agar Pain, Band, I'd really like. I feel like there's less and less peel-offs for this one, at least uh, for what the TCG could have. 1 for 1 is the most interesting aspect I could think of. So let's go to the Market Watch review real quick and kind of see some inferred value for us. I should have the... I know, live editing done quick by John Moore. Really impressive. One for one is the card I would think most. Because we have the uh, ultra rare, high value. Market price already way up here. And we don't have a secret rare or anything like that. The super rares out of the 10s came with damage out the gate, I think, a lot, if I recall. And then you have a bunch of affordable versions. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere into the stratosphere in terms of the commons. But the hollowed out ones... Where, where could this be taken from Legendary Collections 5Ds? Uh, it's already so hard to pull something out of this set. Still at 13, still at its market price right now. Uh, Saryuja is the word of warning. Dual Devastator. Uh, be getting multiples of this for your Guard Dragon engine is a little scary. I think a lot of people are going to buy multiple Dual Devastators regardless of this because the value is in the hand traps and other cards coming out in it. We get a spoiler from Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh! aka Farfa here on the 20th so we'll see what else of value comes in it soon but i don't know i i think this is a pretty good hit along with aggro pain to the guard dragon engine i think this uh is really decent and even though we've stepped away from it with nibiru for a little bit 
Uh, in the TCG, I still think this is a looming threat, and anything that, again, loops in, Starkest Diablosis, Levinir, I support hitting on the ban list, even if it's kind of taking a seat back and isn't as pronounced. Uh, Mystic Mine, I'd like to see. I don't see a lot of uh, anything that could affect the market too much besides Spirals, perhaps, outside of this. Uh, it would be nice to see Spirals get a boost overall and really get helped. And there's tons of cheap, cheap Spirals for a budget deck right now that's actually... I've seen a couple of people like top their locals and stuff with it. It'd be interesting to see like how Spirals do getting more consistency and cards peeling off for them. And it's, it's kind of cool to see Konami give this kind of even the light of day considering how dominant it was in the OCG in here. And... For how long so I'd like to see this kind of apply to the TCG past that again I don't think the Draco cards are gonna spike or anything from this I don't think there's anything too crazy or actually out there besides the guard dragon engine getting hit being exciting and somewhat expected and this is nice this is a, a good kind of just three month update to the game for the OCG. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Let me know what was peels off for them. You know, I, I assume barrages. Let me know if Diagram is like, was Diagram banned or is this actually a hit for them? And uh, that's, I, I could actually see it getting hit in the TCG. And let me know what you think is going to follow over to the TCG. Thanks for watching, everybody. John Moore, you know, only had a couple hours of sleep, four hours of sleep.